New at 10, having a child is a dream come true for so many families, and that was the case for a former reporter and anchor here at today's TMJ4. But as our Susan Kim explains, this new mom is now struggling with an unknown. It's a case so rare, some of the leading doctors in the country don't know what it is. Melissa McCready covered hundreds of stories during her seven years here at today's TMJ4. This is Charlie's story. In many ways, she is now covering the most important story of her life. Melissa McCready's time in front of a computer these days isn't to research a story, something she did for years as a journalist at today's TMJ4. These days, her research is all about this little guy. Well, this is typical. Yeah. This is Charlie. Charlie is almost one. I really had an easy pregnancy. The son of Melissa and her husband, Al. When you held Charlie for the first time in the hospital, what was that like for you? Oh, it was great just to, you know, it was obviously our first child and to, to have a son and a child and just to hold them and you just realize you love them so much. But soon they embarked on an emotional journey to figure out why their beautiful little boy wasn't thriving. His heart rate had dropped during delivery. He was born with an extra thumb and a large birthmark, both on the right side of his body. Charlie wasn't breathing as well as doctors would have liked, but still, Melissa and Al got to take their new baby home from the hospital. The biggest challenge, trying to learn how to be first-time parents. A challenge every parent knows, but Charlie became more fussy. He would take one to two ounces of the bottle and then would scream bloody murder. Crying like this nonstop. Then he stopped eating. And at first we thought it was us. We're like, oh, are we not doing this right? At nine weeks, Charlie was admitted to Children's Hospital for a week, the first of many visits. We saw genetics, we saw audiology, we saw ophthalmology, we saw GI, we saw ENT. Um, we didn't see cardiology, but as soon as we left, they said, you need to see cardiology. They left Children's with a feeding tube, hopeful the worst was behind them. But it wasn't. From there, it was just bad news after bad news after bad news. And I feel like still today, we, we still get bad news. You know, and it's been um, nine months, and I keep waiting for the good news to start coming, and it hasn't started to come yet. Despite countless tests, including some of the most advanced genetic testing available, they still don't know what's wrong with Charlie. What I've been told from two different doctors is that they think he may have Charlie syndrome, such a rare disease that it hasn't even been discovered yet. Right now is undiagnosed. Dr. Beth Drolet is one of Charlie's many physicians. People come to get healed and to get answers and when we can't get, give them uh, those answers it's pretty frustrating. Do you think you will find an answer? Yes, <laughs> I do. So Melissa and Al wait and passionately care for their son. They still feed him through a tube. You're so big. And he receives therapy four days a week, trying to get strong enough to lift his head, roll over, reach for his toys. Yeah, can you move it? That's a boy. Is it just a rough start to life and he's going to thrive and be just fine? Or is this something terminal and he only has a few weeks or a few months to live? We don't know. How difficult is that for you to deal with? It's hard, yeah. But we just take it day by day. We don't look too far ahead and you just take, enjoy every day and you just go day to day. On top of everything else, Charlie recently had surgery for glaucoma and has more surgery ahead. Doctors removed his extra thumb for testing but did not get any answers. So next, they will remove skin from his birthmark in their continuing search for a diagnosis. Susan Kim, today's TMJ4. We all know how excited Melissa was to get, start a family, get married, and start her life after TV. It's hard to see. It's really hard to see. Melissa actually had to quit her job, now stays home to care for Charlie full time. Now she does have an emotional blog that details Charlie's journey. You can find that at todaystmj4.com. But Melissa, you have a lot of people praying. Melinda, you we're, have a lot of people praying for, for you. Family. And you know, everybody loves you. And you know, we just feel that we're all in this with you. And it's just awful, but we know that something good's going to happen. So good luck. Well, look at this.